live and alert on the north side of the dirty. This is your man D Real coming at you with another Be Real with D Real, where edutainment is what I do. I'm gonna do that recommended reading again, y'all. But before we get off into the recommended reading, I need y'all to do what you always do for me. Comment, like, subscribe, and share to the Be Real with D-Real page so that when new material comes out, you get first crack at it. If you dig it, what a brother shoveling. Put some dirt in my bucket. Comment, like, subscribe, and share to the page. Let's get it. Part two of the Maestro World War M. Here we, here we go. Last time we left you. Maestro was squabbling with the original Human Torch, Namor the Submariner, and the Abomination. And who knew that the Human Torch could fly or, or operate underwater? I guess that is an ability that the original has that Johnny Storm does not. But then again, I haven't seen Johnny Storm swimming underwater and using his flame or utilizing his flame power. Whatever the case is. Uh, news to me. And here comes the maestro in heavy pursuit. It's a city, but that city is not Atlantis. Oh my goodness. Who is, or what, is that right there staring at the maestro? It's a comic book, so I'm pretty sure we'll find out. The Human Torch seems to believe that he has finished the maestro. How can a Human Torch talk underwater? I don't know. Maybe the Human Torch doesn't have lungs. Or maybe popping one of them Reed Richards oxygen pills works on androids too. Don't know. Was he? Why does he look like he's holding his breath in that picture? But he just talked. He's an android. Let's try not to figure it out. But here we go. Boom. See, Namor ain't stupid. He like, oh, okay. <laughs> you thought you killed him, but you didn't. And here come the guards ready to attack. Why? They know they can't. Well, they've never seen the maestro before, but th they feeling it today, ain't they? <laughs> maestro said, bring it. I ain't scared of you, mother. He's looking for Namor. He like, Namor, let's go. I've been waiting on this. And Namor asked the same question we all asked. So you can breathe underwater now, huh? He said my name, Maestro. Whatever. <laughs> same old Namor arrogance, right? Maestro says, you warning me? Negro, please. See, he got a big laugh out of that. He says, stop laughing or I'll unleash my guard upon you. You mean that guard I just beat the dog crap out of? Not those guards. Da, da, da. Now you get to see who the splash pager was. That guard. My second biggest. Pray you never meet my largest one. Hulk, we should not be fighting. We were allies once. Allies? You and your fellow Illuminati fired me into space. Oh, remember that? Wow. All in favor of shooting that fool into space? Everybody. Is that how it went? 
My father disagreed with that decision. He left the Illuminati because of it. You have a son, and that's your wife, I assume. I'm looking forward to killing both of them. Hulk, Banner, listen to me. You sent the torch to destroy me. Yes, I did. Banner, we have no love for humanity. You know this. Humanity annihilated the world, and I watched it burn. Now you plan to bring humanity back to strength, give it dominion over the Earth's oceans. If you do that, you doom the world. You must know that. And more talk about I can control them and no, you can't. We're wasting time, dude. And Namor's trying to be nice. He like, I, 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 I feel you, bro. But just join up, man. Just join up with the squad. Squad up with me, man. And we can kick ass like we used to back in the day. You can tell just by them eyes. He, he get ready to say, screw y'all. How come the maestro doesn't have eyebrows? He can grow all that beard and all that hair, but no eyebrows. Oh, he tore, oh, your guard got his tentacle ripped. Because it's the maestro, of course. And in retaliation, he said, do you think I'm afraid of your Davy Jones reject? He's about to hit him with it. Oh, boy, that ain't going to be good. But no. Father, get mother to safety. I'll handle this. And yeah, young Leonard, Leonard, look at that. Even Namor gets to have a son who follows in his footsteps. Why they don't show no love like that? To, well, this is an alternate universe, but it, it could possibly be the main timeline. Who knows? Um, anyway, Namor's got a son that's kicking ass and taking names. Or trying to, anyway. He didn't like that. He get ready to crack young Leonard. Oh, look, young Leonard's a little faster than that, ain't he? Ooh, he drew blood. See, them Atlantean or them Atlantean hybrids, should I say, um, are some powerful beings indeed. Very powerful. Very, <laughs> very, very powerful. Did he just get up? Underwater karate kick. Wow. Uh-oh, caught his leg. But dad's there. Dad ain't finna let you beat his son up. Boy, get the safety. I've been fighting this fool for years. And there he goes. We get ready to have a classic Namor Hulk duel. Well, Maestro, he don't like to be called Hulk or Banner anymore. And they going for it in in, in classic Marvel fashion. I'm gonna have to do a uh I'm gonna have to do a, a video one day on all the times that uh Namor and, and, and Hulk have clashed. And because they've been just as epic as Hulk and Thor, I think. Look at that. They going for it. I love it. Just, you know, thank you, Peter David, for not making this story drawn out and complicated and doing what needs to be done. Because if you're going to put Namor and the Maestro in a story, they better be squabbing. Somebody is shooting at the Maestro, and it looked like it's staying a little bit from the look on Maestro's face. Who might that be? The Palace Guards. I guess concentrated fire works better than one person shooting at a time. But I believe it's the maestro and the result will probably be the same. <laughs> yeah, he talking about keep it coming. He having fun. But uh, Namor's underwater guard ready to come and spank some butt again. Uh-oh, wait a minute. <laughs> maestro seen him coming. <laughs> Oh, boy. Look like y'all better get out of Pacifica.
Uh oh. Is that Namor's wife? Is he about to lose another wife? Uh, looks like it. Uh oh. It's Leonard to the rescue. Damn, your guard got handled. And so, apparently, Numa and Leonard, keep that in mind. Numa and Leonard look like they got got. Um, are we going to hear an Imperious Rex? Nope. To the rescue is none other than Hamel Blonsky. He's still mad that the man killed, tried to kill his wife. Uh, look like look like abomination about to take an ass whooping. Somebody wants to kill the maestro. I can guess who that is. Oh, no. Teleportation? Teleportation. Oh, my. And a torch. They've both been teleported from Pacifica. Teleportation, there's probably only one person in this era that has teleportation technology. Yep, and the maestro seems to know who it was also. Joe did, and there is those Latvian looking spires on the castle. Could be none other than. Uh oh. Uh oh. Help me gain revenge on the maestro. You must. Look at Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom don't look so steady. And he's walking with a cane? Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Uh oh. And literally, is he gonna fall? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Man, I, I that that just hurts my heart to see Victor like that. Goodness gracious, got to be more careful. I'm with the Human Torch. Who the hell is this? Who is that? That ain't Doctor Doom. That can't be Dr. Doom. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was World War M Part G. Let me know if y'all enjoying this. I'm going to tell you in advance, three, the issue three might be the last one you get for a while because uh, they haven't digitalized four and five yet, at least on the page. But if I have to, and y'all really want me to, Got four and five. So, what y'all thinking about that story? Y'all feeling it? Yay, nay, does Future Imperfect? It's kind of weird, though, because we know how Future Imperfect is going to end. So, maybe, maybe not. Why don't y'all keep tuned in and we'll see what happens. Issue three might take a dip, but not until the next shizzle. I'll be coming at y'all with another one of them other ones. And until I do, yo, y'all, be good.